von hier, sorry. Team Hungary. <lacht> I think as well is a good player. <lacht> I don't, you might be surprised, but we don't talk about lineups in these press conferences. So it's good that he's back. It's like, so um, you know him probably very well. Uh, he loves playing football. Being injured is for him tough, tough, tough. It was not an injury where he had was painful every day or whatever. He was just not allowed to train properly, how it is with muscle injuries. Um, so that's the reason why we had to be careful um, in, in his rehab, because um, if we would have asked Dom, he could have trained like completely with the team since two or three weeks. But all the medical advisors told us, no, 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 we have to wait. And that's what we did. Now he's back, um, played a few minutes, and is in a squad. All the rest, we will see. Otázka na Sobola je, jaký s ním teď máte plán? On se konečně vrací po zranění a bude už v základu nebo ho pošetříte na Manchester City? My před, na předzápasové tiskovce o sestavě nemluvíme, ale já jsem rozhodně rád, že Sobola je, Sobosla je zpátky. Ve fotbale je vždycky těžké být zraněný. On měl bolestivé zranění, nemohl trénovat, proto jsme na něj byli hodně opatrní. Už by býval mohl být dva, tři týdny s týmem, ale rada lékařů zněla ještě počkat. Takže teď už je v týmu odehrál pár minut, ale uvidíme, jak to s ním půjde dál. Good evening, Mr. Kopp. My name is Jan. I'm from Czech News Agency. It's a pleasure to ask you a question. <laughs> Let's see if it's a pleasure to answer. <laughs> <laughs> first, first of all, I would like to ask you about Sparta. Uh, if you could tell us something about them from the videos you have seen and what do you expect from them. And secondly, I believe you have a relationship with uh, a little bit with former Czech uh, Liverpool players like Vladimir Schmitzer and Patrick Berger. You know them a little bit. So if, if you could tell us uh, something about them as well. Thank you very much. Let me say, you know more about Sparta and you know more about Patrick and Vladimir, but that's, um, anyway, I understand the question. So, um, yeah, we watched obviously Sparta now and it was an interesting and intense week for them as well. It was two games against Slavia. It's obviously a pretty special week. Um, one game, the cup game, they won. The other game, they kept the distance in the table. So uh, with a draw, that's obviously very helpful. Um, since the managers in obviously things turned around, which you can see in um, becoming champion after such a long time, you can see that in, in the confidence uh, that the, the team is playing with, clear idea, um, very intense. Um, but our idea is always a little bit like that, and I don't want to call it misunderstood, but they never played us. So as good as they are, they are good, and we will see how it will work out. We, how Maka said, we expect a really tough game, but that means we have to be. We expect from ourselves that we are that we play a top game, and if we can do that, it's not a joy to play against us. So that's what we hope. Um, but Sparta is obviously in a very good moment, and I think everybody who is with Sparta would say that exactly the same. Then Patrick and Vladimir, two absolute Liverpool legends. They love being or still being around. I I have always time off when the Legends game is. That's international break. Then I'm not in the city, so we don't meet there a lot. But I know on tours and stuff like this that our Legends and the two are definite Legends are um, are there as well. So we had some moments, and um, it's um, it's a joy to have them. And I think when they tell their stories about Liverpool, it's much more interesting when I tell the stories, their stories about Liverpool, because it's just, it was a bit earlier than I arrived there. But Liverpool is a pretty special club. And the best, one of the best things about the club is they never forget their legends. And that's why they still feel home when they are there. Um, and that's really cool. So, but I think the sporting director is a, a Dortmund legend. So, Mr. Rositsky, if I'm right, right? Is he spoiling right? Yeah. So, 
look, a lot of connections here. Um, but we are here not for meeting old friends. We are here to play a, a, a really good football game. Sorry for the long answer. <laughs> Uh, otázka zněla, um, řeknete nám, co jste se dozvěděl o Spartě a třeba z těch videí, co jste viděl a jaký máte vztah s Vladimírem Šmitrem a Patrikem Bergerem, což jsou legendy Liverpoolu. Uh, vy určitě o Spartě, Vladimírovi a Patrikovi víte mnohem víc. My jsme samozřejmě Spartu bedlivě sledovali v posledním týdnu, který pro ně byl taky obtížný, hráli dva zápasy proti Slavy. Uh, jednou vyhráli, uh, jednou uh, remizovali, což je aspoň udrželo s náskokem v tabulce. Uh, samozřejmě pod novým trenérem se věci změnily, uh, vyhráli opět ligu, uh, mají sebevědomí, hrají ve velké intenzitě, ale zatím ještě nehráli proti nám, takže uvidíme. Uh, my očekáváme těžký zápas, ale právě proto hlavně od sebe očekáváme top výkon. Uh, nicméně musím potvrdit, Sparta určitě zažívá dobré od Období. Co se týče Patrika s Vladimírem, jsou to samozřejmě klubové legendy, rádi se drží blízko Liverpoolu, ovšem když je zápas legend, tak já většinou bývám na dovolené, je to mezinárodní pauza, takže jsem pryč, tolik se s nimi nevídám, ale uh, musím říct, že Liverpool je v tomto výjimečný klub, nezapomíná na své legendy, proto se tam uh, oni dva stále cítí jako doma, nicméně jejich vyprávění o Liverpoolu bude určitě zajímavější než to moje. A taky vím, že váš sportovní ředitel Tomáš Rosický je zase legenda Dortmundu, takže je to takové setkání legend, ale my tu nejsme od setkávání se starými přáteli, jsme tu, protože chceme hrát dobrý fotbal. Yeah, Mo traveled. Mo, Mo Salah traveled with us. That's what he was asking and what the idea is with him. So, um, yeah, he's with us. He trained two days. So, um, full of energy. We have to see. But it's so good that he's back. Uh, that's, really, that's really good for us. And you can see in his face, he's very happy. Very unlikely situation with that being that long out in for a moment, if you want, at Brentford. Played an incredible game there and was out again. So that's how it is. Um, we we, we want to be careful. We have to be careful. But we're in the middle of a super intense period of the season. We need everybody. And now let's see how long we can use him and these kind of things. That's how it is with him, with others as well. Um, yeah. Just good news. Jak je na tom Mohamed Salah? Uh, už trénuje, poslední dva trénuje, s týmem je plný energie, ale uvidíme. My jsme rádi, že s námi sem přijel, uh, odehrál uh, už úžasné zápasy, ale my musíme teď dávat hodně pozor na jeho stav. Je to hektická část sezóny a samozřejmě se to netýká jenom jeho, ale i dalších hráčů, takže uvidíme, jak na tom bude dál. Any concerns about him being called up by Egypt during the international break? No, no, that has nothing to do really. That's that this will be decided on, on, on in different sorry in different departments. So it's not no, has nothing to do with that. But I think he, let's see how long he can play now. It's it, 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 only how I said two days in team training. So in a different situation, players are not in the squad in this moment. So but in our situation makes sense. What can we give him? How much can we use him? We will see that. And then there are two, what is it, two games with Egypt. But it's, it's really not up to me or stuff like this. We are not really involved. So that's uh, it's, it's discussed on, uh, in, in other departments, let me say it like that. A pokud Mohamed Salah nastoupí v těch dalších dvou zápasech, myslíte si, že ho, nebojíte se, že ho Egypt zase povolá do reprezentace? To se rozhoduje jinde, já tohle neovlivňuju. Uvidíme, kolik toho odehraje v našem týmu. Po dvou dnech tréninku by normálně ještě nenastupoval, ale teď uvidíme, jak na tom bude, jak ho využijeme. Nicméně jeho povolání do reprezentace nezávisí na mě. Hello. 
Hello, Mr. Klopp. Uh, my name is Siri. I'm from the Czech website Dynas.cz. Uh, I would like to ask you, or you spoke a little bit about the Brian Priska, Sparta manager, and you met him a few years ago in, in the Champions League game uh, against Midtjylland. So do you remember him somehow, and um, what do you remember about him and about the game? Thank you. Yeah, we met when he was a man in Midtjylland. Um, I think, if I remember it right, we had some arguments on the touchline about the style of play of the opponent. It was pretty rough. <laughs> so, you asked me, so I answered it. It's not something, it's like just I saw the Galatas Rai game that was obviously not a friendly, a friendly game as well. So, um, yeah. We are, it's it's knockout stages. We go for everything, and that that, that, that everybody in, involved in this competition is very ambitious. I understand. We are as well. We are not here for a friendly game. Definitely not. It's not about that. But yeah, that's what I remember. From it. Very well organized. Obviously, you see that here. I think they played a similar system. If I'm 100% right, but that's a few games ago. Um, so it's much more important what do they play now, and that I. My teams over the years developed a lot different systems, different ways, different ideas. So just because you play somebody five, four, four, three, four years ago or whenever it was, um, doesn't mean you know him. So a bit of a, a strange idea. Um, but he's doing an incredible job here, and obviously um, that's that's much more important because uh, after nine years becoming again. Uh, Czech champion is, is is really is really impressive, and then being again top of the table this year, and um, being in the cup final as well, if I'm right, right? Yeah, that was no, not yet. It's just the next round. It's not yeah. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, super impressive, and obviously there are some really good Danish coaches out there. Um, it's a it's a country where a lot of coaches are coming from, so they and they are not all the same, so. Knowing a coach from two games is not enough to say I know him very well. So, all good. Uh, vy už jste mluvil o uh, trenéru Sparty Brianu Priskem. Uh, setkal jste se s ním jako trenér, když uh, on působil v Mitilandu. Pamatujete si na ten zápas? Uh, ano, setkali jsme se. Pokud si dobře pamatuju, tak jsme se u Čáry trochu pohádali uh, o tom, uh, o stylu hry soupeře, bylo to docela drsné, takže to je moje odpověď. E, viděl jsem samozřejmě i utkání proti Galatasaray, to taky nebyl přátelák, protože tohle je vyřazovací fáze. Všichni jsme ambiciozní a my dva rovněž, nejsme tu od toho, abychom se přátelili. Musím ale uznat, že je dobře organizovaný, e, už tehdy hrál, pokud se nemýlím, podobným systémem, ale pro mě je důležitější, jak hraje teď. I moje týmy se časem vyvíjejí, když do nich přináším nové myšlenky, takže to, co bylo před třemi nebo čtyřmi roky, vůbec neznamená, že bych mohl říct, že ho znám. Nicméně tady odvádí úžasnou práci Sparta po devíti letech mistrem. I teď je na čele tabulky, pokud vím, tak ještě nevyhrála pohár, ale má tu šanci. Musím říct, že obecně dánští trenéři jsou velice dobří, ale určitě nejsou všichni stejní a dva zápasy nestačí k tomu, abyste někoho poznal. Last month, Germany. Uh, good evening, Mr. Klopp. Uh, nice to see you. And uh, I have a question. Uh, Liverpool has have a very difficult, uh, difficult program in these weeks. Uh, you are, you, <laughs> Thank you. <yeah. laughs> Uh, you are you are first in the Premier League and the next opponent in Manchester City. Uh, you are playing uh, in, in FA Cup uh, against Manchester United. And uh, how important in this context is uh, a game against Sparta Prague? Wow. I, as I probably I know it's the only game we play tomorrow night, so that's the most important game we have. That's absolutely. We make don't make any difference. We are we wouldn't have won the League Cup. We wouldn't be. In the, I don't even know which round it is in the FA Cup, but in the next round in the FA Cup, we wouldn't be still in the European League if we would prioritize a competition. We never did. It would Maybe it would be smart to do it, I just don't know how. I'm a bit dumb, so I don't know exactly how to do that. Um, and we go in each game with all we have, and hopefully you will see that tomorrow night. That's the target. <laughs> 